This is a spring scale. Spring scales are used in order to measure the amount of force on an object. In order to figure out the force, which is always written in newtons, we use the spring scale and of course down here is where you would hook your load and as you see the little red indicator is going up and down as you pull on the spring scale. So you would connect whatever you wanted to measure over here. Unfortunately, as you can see, this spring scale is sitting still. There's nothing on it. And if I tip it this way a little bit so that you can see the numbers, um, it is in pounds and in newtons. Where it says pounds, we're not going to look at that. But where it says newtons, that is what we are going to focus on because newtons is how we measure uh, work. And on the Newton side, you can see that it is above the zero. We need to make sure that it's zeroed out. It's kind of like clearing the memory on a calculator. So in order to do that, in order to get this little red line even right here, we need to move this little tab up at the top. There's a little tab right here. It's just a small piece of metal. Let me turn it so that you can see. We take it and we are going to move and slide it up or down depending on where you need it to go. So if we need to move it up a little bit, we just slide up on it and see how you pull up and it measures right there with zero. So getting it as perfect as you can, as close to zero as possible, that's called zeroing out the spring scale. <coughs> And if you do that before every single calculation, after you take every single reading and you use it again, see how it might even pull it a little bit off? Then you reach back over here and you clear it back one more time and you even it right back out up to zero. And that is how you zero out a spring balance or spring scale.